Hello everyone, how is everybody doing? What a beautiful day! I am here to share the number 15 Circo with Grandmother Aya Jungle, a, power ceremony, a powerful ceremony that I had this past night with two amazing uh, divine feminine, uh, with two amazing powerful queen. So we were in three feminine warrior and um, we together very much was rising in love, right? Rising in inner power, rising in connection, rising in supporting each other. And uh, at this time, uh, with just working with just two people, uh, very much the journey gave us enough time to dedicate our energy to ourselves. Because when the circle is, there is lots of people, right? Very much we, we, we share our energy and very much we do the healing, of course, for ourselves and others. So it is a more, uh, it is a ceremony where we are more interconnected, healing, right? Our ounce and everything that we have to go through related to our journey, but in the same time supporting others. And in my case, right, I am very dedicated to the people the whole night. So this night, this past night, very much I had lots of time as well to dedicate to myself, to dedicate to my healing, to dedicate to my transformation, what I'm very grateful for. I had enough time to dedicate, uh, to connect with the unseen realms, right? And very much together uh, doing the healing as well, working with you both divine feminine, and uh, receiving support and healing at the same time. So it is a wonderful journey where we open up for ourselves, right? We realize that yes, it is a tough journey, right? It's not easy to go deep in ourselves. It is not easy to look at uh, parts of us that we don't know yet, that we, we don't have awareness about it. And the divine medicine very much help us to recognize that in ourselves, recognize the parts of ourselves that uh, we don't know yet, right? Or maybe we don't remember. But in the same time, help us to have the realizations about our fears, our shadow aspects, right? And very much pushing us to uh, choose love, pushing us to release fear, pushing us to open up our heart to receive. Uh, very much the powerful message that we all received this night was be open to receive, right? It is important for us to recognize in ourselves first that we deserve beautiful things in our life. And uh, the universe very much was telling us that it's okay, especially God Isis, right? She was very present with ourselves. We received a powerful message before the ceremony where she prepared us for this journey. She very much prepared us to face our challenge moments. And uh, after the journey, very much she brought lots of light to us. Uh, a moment where she, she was saying to us that it is time to letting go of the past. We already know, we already went through right to the, through the healing and now very much it is a moment for us to embrace ourselves to embrace the beautiful light to embrace life right and uh, very much be open to receive everything that we deserve uh, seeing life very much as a way of expressing ourselves right our heart space and in the same time Freedom, right? Bringing freedom to ourselves, uh, feeling good in our own skin, and very much do what resonates with us, right? 
It doesn't matter what others thinking, but very much it is, is por, it is important to listen ourselves, right? Trusting that inner voice and uh, move forward, right, in that direction. So we had beautiful moments of meditation, uh, dedicating this moment to ourselves, connecting with the fire, with the blessings of water. Uh, the wind was very powerful, so very much the wind was cleansing, uh, taking away everything that uh, we still was holding fear, right? And very much bringing to the universe. Today, it is a new moon, so it is a powerful moment for us to embrace this new energy, to embrace this new cycle, right? After lots of activation that we receive it, after lots of cleansing, after lots of purging, right? We purge together. We, we don't purge just for ourselves, but we purge for, for, for Mother Earth. We purge for the universe and we purge for uh, everyone in the circle, right? So it is a powerful moment of cleansing that we, we have to open up our heart and very much letting go of things that is not serving us. And uh, choosing to be the master, choosing to be the master of our destiny. This was the message from God Isis, right? We are here very much to learn how to walk in both uh, words and in the same time, Learn with our energy, right? Understanding our energy, being the master of our energy. So this way we are able to manifest the things that very much resonates with our heart space. And uh, very much it is a moment for us to, to see the blessings through the challenge moments, right? To see, choose to see the change through the challenge moments. Choose to see the change and choose to see the blessings even through the fears that we feel, right? Because very much if we are feeling something like that, it means that there is, there is something that needs to be looked at. There is something that needs to be healed. And uh, the universe is here very much to support us. Mother, uh, Grandmother Aya very much is here to support us. And uh, even through the challenge moments that we go through the, through the journey, right? As I said, it's not easy to choose to look at deep in ourselves. But in the same time, we feel the unconditional love by the universe. We feel the unconditional love by the spirit, the feminine spirit of the medicine. And uh, it is wonderful to learn and receive the teaching teachings, right, from the medicine as well, from the spirit of the medicine. So it is a powerful moment of opening our heart, learning, being curious about our energy and uh, just to surrender, right? Releasing resistance about it. There is nothing to fear, but there is beauty, there is growth, there is change, there is transformation. And uh, this is something that I love it, right? Uh, it is freaking powerful. It is very challenging in the peak of the journey. But it is amazing uh, to, to feel the unseen realms, to feel the love and support. We had uh, the support from the stars, the moon, the sky was beautiful. Uh, lots of light beings connected with us. Our ancestors, right, was present and they were showing their presence all the time here in this earth, right? Uh, making some noises, uh, showing, right, that we are never alone in this journey, that they are here with us. When we open our heart very much to receive uh, support, right, that's the moment where we feel their presence in our life. And there is a solution for everything. I had a very challenging moment uh, with one situation that I'm going through with my, 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 my cell phone, right? Uh, some charges that I got, got when I was in Brazil, something that I wasn't aware, 
as the company didn't told me because I called before to, to know the extra expenses and uh, they just turned off my phone. And when I realized that uh, I had to deal with that yet, right? But I said, wow, how am I gonna do the ceremony without music, right? How, uh, if the universe is calling me to go through the silence, that's okay, let's do the, the ceremony through the silence. But then synchronistic games, I remember that I had my old uh, laptop, a uh, few CDs, amazing music as well. And then I said, okay, let's bring that, right? Let's co-create, let's focus in the solution. Let's see the blessings to the challenge moments, right? And I can tell you that was beautiful. The, the music connected with the journey as well, the improvement, right? Even myself, I didn't know how I was going to be unfolded. And in the last moment, actually, when um, before I come to the earth, I went to buy water and uh, in the store, I just found in the last moment a beautiful CD as well uh, from Hawaii Music. Uh, so what brought tears in myself because the music was so beautiful, so amazing, connecting with our heart space. So in the, in the end, it was wonderful. In the end, something that could be seen as a big challenge was a beautiful flow, was a beautiful improvement from the universe. And um, I chose to focus in the solution. I chose very much to flow, right? And have acceptance. And when we open up for, for those moments, right? That we go through in our journey, when very much we release the resistance and we say, you know what? Let's flow through, through that uh, experience. We understand that everything is meant to be, right? Everything it is already prepared by the universe. Those are just the tests that we have to go through in order to very much uh, make sure that we trust in our journey, we trust in the support of the universe, and uh, very much we allow the changes and uh, the challenges very much to be something positive, right? Bringing something positive in our journey. So it was beautiful, was awesome. And uh, I am very grateful. I'm a great, I am very grateful for this beautiful space, for this beautiful year, for this beautiful land. I'm very grateful for the honors very much allowing the ceremony to happen here, giving all the support, right, that uh, I needed to, to manifest this uh, night of retreat, night of healing. And um, I am very thankful as well for those that say yes to this, this journey and choose to journey with myself as well, supporting myself in the same way and choosing choosing their freedom, choose to change. I mean, doing this, right, not just for myself, because I love, I love to go through the journey, I love to heal myself, I love to understand my energy, I love to release myself from any limitations and fears, right? I love to free myself, but it's beautiful as well to do that, not just for myself, but for those for humanity, because when we are healing, right, we are healing earth. This is a space, right, as I said in my past video, connected with the past ceremony, that this is my heart space. And uh, this ceremony very much that is space for love and for light, for healing, right? And anything that is not matching love and light must, must go must go from my heart space must go from each one heart space right and uh doing that we are releasing the dark forces as well the dark entities no not just from our energy field but from the planet right because 
we are healing Mother Earth, doing for ourselves, letting go of dark entities connected with fear, we release the darkness from the planet. We release those entities from the planet as well. So when we have that realization, right, then we understand the dimensions of healing that we go through, the extensions of healing that we go through during the journey that we are not doing just for ourselves. We are doing for our family lineage. We are doing for our ancestors. We are healing ourselves as past lives as well and inner child in this lifetime. And we are healing the planet. We are healing Mother Earth. We are helping the planet with this ascension process, with this transition process, right? So we are doing a lot. It is a very powerful work that we do, and the universe recognizes that. So, very much, I am open to receive beautiful, manifestation, beautiful manifestations in my life, right? Uh, very much keep trusting my journey and uh, opening up my gift is to very much continue to serve humanity and be here, right, for those that very much are looking for self-love, self-healing, self-activation. So it is an honor to dedicate myself to this ceremony. What uh, I have to give lots of work for myself before, during, during, and after, right? But I do with love. I do for the universe as well. And I do for the sacred sacredness of the medicine because I love the medicine. I have so much devotion for the medicine, for all the transformations in my life, from all the changes in my life, for all the healings in my life, healings and realizations in my life, and for all the happiness and joy and unconditional love that brings to myself as well. So it's wonderful. And uh, I encourage you to say yes to this journey if you feel the calling in your heart. Don't fear yourself, right? Don't fear your deep uh, emotions, but be brave, right? And uh, we, in the next day, right, in the next uh, uh, morning, it is wonderful when we look at each other and we say, wow, right? We, we are victorious. We went through all the challenges and we survived, right? We very much uh, see the change and uh, self-empowerment self as well in each one. And there is lots of love that we share with each other as well. So it's beautiful. My next ceremony is coming soon again. Uh, you can have uh, more information in my website, naturalhealing11.ca, or connect with myself through message, right? I'm going to put the information. But check my website, and if you feel the calling, there is lots of videos, there is information, there is pictures. And if you resonate right with my energy, say yes to yourself. Come and have a wonderful journey, a beautiful and powerful journey of magic, right? Of self-love, self-healing, self-empowerment, and uh, just be open to receive, right? The surprises of the universe that it is always prepared for us in the name of unconditional love. My gratitude for the beautiful sisters that was here with me. Gratitude for the universe. Gratitude for this present moment. Gratitude for my night of healing. And uh, gratitude for myself. For myself to say yes to myself as well. Uh, I feel proud of myself anytime that I come and I say yes to this journey. And I say yes very much to my heart space. And I say yes... Uh, to the healing process and ascension uh, process that I'm going through as well. Victory of light, 
always. Much love, light, and blessings to everyone. Take care. Namaste. Enjoy your beautiful day. Full, uh, new moon. Beautiful, beautiful things are coming. So be open to receive. Bye-bye.